have come to Tomato Beach to give the dogs a run and it's not dog friendly like most beaches abroad it's getting a bit ridiculous this everywhere we go they're not allowed on the flaming beach it's just annoying here's a blue flag beach yeah well there's nobody on it oh, that's two people three to four people on the, all that expanse of beach there's like four people there's a load up there and we're not allowed to take the dogs on what a faff we are leaving because there's bushes full of processionary caterpillar pods um, and if you read about them little buggers they're pretty dangerous to dogs and people. See if I'll show you one. And there it is there. One of them. So those of you that don't know about them, they're hairy little caterpillars that create pods on pine trees. Um, just looking, making sure. And then they create a line which you can see them walking across the floor but the hair, they defend themselves by launching their hairs into your skin um, and dogs, paws and faces and yeah they're pretty um, toxic so we're going to take the dogs, even Andy's put Ben on the lead go and find somewhere else with no pine trees this is the access into the Tomato Beach car park um, it's not that bad actually, it is a bit potholy but it's obviously been filled in very recently and just a warning it is only daytime parking and loads of people got fined yesterday and thrown off by GNR so park there overnight at your own risk there are some people that look like they're there for overnight but it's down to them in it I won't do it so that's where we are so we've come up the coast to another beach Praia de Rafael and also prohibition for animals this is getting a bit ridiculous. It said on Google that this was dog friendly. That's why we came. It's beautiful. But we can't let the dogs off. It's ridiculous. So don't bring your dogs or your animals here. Because it says, it doesn't just say no dogs when you get down, it says no animals. Yeah. Can't bring your sheep. <laughs> can't, bring, no. can't bring your giraffe out for a walk. Uh, a turtle. So we're going to go, our day has been a bit of a bust, we're going to go find a supermarket, get us some food for tea and go back. All back in the van, all ready to go and now we've got to go and try and find a supermarket that's not an Aldi because we're all sick of Aldi. I've got little. some decent film, food. Sick of Aldi, sick of little. Sick of Aldi, sick of little, so we're going to try and find some pills. That's all folks, the water pump has finally given up the ghost and died tonight, so um we ha are going to borrow Andy's special 12 volt shower, plug it in the Bluetti, hang it up in the shower cubicle and shower with uh, a bucket of warm water. <laughs> yes? Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. That, that's our, what else we do. It's our only option at the minute. There is another camper place that's on the Algarve, um, but no whale pumps. It's a British van. You can only get them delivered in England. <laughs> to get one sent here in Portugal would be another week. Um, and we've got to be at the tunnel on the 8th of February. Oh well. Shit happens. It is what it is, isn't it? Fan life for you, I suppose. I mean, we, we used to have issues with the bloody shower in the house, I suppose. <laughs> Sometimes you don't get any hot water. So at least with a 12 volt... Uh, plugged into the power bank, you know you're gonna get a hot water. <laughs> yeah. I'm just laughing because it's no, it's only us that it could happen to. Could happen to anyone. To be fair. <laughs> you probably get a new pump. I find that it's amazing, and that pump's been going out since the day we had the bloody van. Yeah, I bet we get a new pump, and it don't make any noise whatsoever. That one's been noisy since day dot, hasn't it? Yeah. So. But when you don't know, you don't know. We're gonna get one delivered um, for when we get back and get it changed over. It's not even making a noise anymore. It's obvious. It just is going on and on and on and on after I filled the kettle, and then it just ca carried on making a noise. And then Stephen turned it off, and then it wouldn't come back on whatsoever. He's taking it apart again, but no dice. So smelly van life is here. We come. <laughs> Not really. We're not that scruffy. Um, yeah, so we will have to uh, make make do and see how we get on. Yeah. It's that windy. I think we're going down there. <laughs> we might die. <laughs> so we've got to go down here, we think, to get to this circular walk that we're taking the dogs on. 
I don't actually think we're supposed to be here, but we've brought the dogs out for a walk. That's a big dam behind us. We're trying to get to um, like a circular park walk, but we can't seem to get there. There's the dam. And there's a slip and slide. And then there's obviously damned because there's not a lot of water down there. So we park down there, that little picnic area, there's a reservoir just to the right of me and we think the dam, the other side of the dam's down there. I have to say we've not really been inland very much on this trip have we? No. But it's beautiful up in the, in the hills isn't it? It is. Absolutely stunning. It's cold. Yeah it's pretty chilly today, uh, the sun's gone in. But we can't see the circular walk that we're trying to do at all. Just can't seem to get to it. So that's where we are apparently. And there is some of the wildlife. A little bat there. Another trip out, another bust. We couldn't find the circular route. Uh, now it's cold and it's getting late and we're hungry so we're going back. I'm out in the van today <laughs> and managed to get the dogs on the beach. Hello, flipping you, it's Louia. So, we at, where are we? Americo de Pera? I think. <laughs> right, my dogs are on the lead and there's a, another dog here. Ben's got a friend and he's drinking the sea. What a love it. Just been for a walk at a Mary Ko de Ferra, I think that's how you say it, and spotted an English pub called the Water Dog. So we've all had steak and ale pie. Oh yes. It was good. Oh. 25 euros, steak and ale pie, and a pint. Winner. We couldn't film anything because it was music. Oh, uh, this is Chapel de Nossa Rocha, something like that. <laughs> it's really pretty, but there's not much info about it on Wikipedia. Um, apparently it used to be a medieval fortress they think or part of a medieval fortress so there's a little bit about it our lady of the rock a place of worship of visigoths and muslims fortress surrounded by a pit and a drawbridge was built dominant over the sea We're going to send the drone up, but it's a little bit windy, isn't it? Breezy. 
we think we might lose it because it's only a little drone. Um, only a little wood. And I did have a little wee in Andy's van. <laughs> But I needed it. On the floor. <laughs> the, the toilet. <laughs> it was a little way. Um, so we're going back to site, get prepared to get on the road tomorrow. Yes, back on the road. Whoop, whoop. So sorry this has been a bit of a bitty vlog, but we have been kind of stuck in sills for 10 days, haven't we? Yeah, chilling out. Just chilling out, having a good rest. Um, it's been lovely, actually. Um, so we want to say a couple of thank yous to Paul and Nikki for buying us two coffees. We will get some decent tea bags. <laughs> Don't know where. We, can, we know we can't get any in Portugal. We'll try so we'll try Spain. Spain if not for France. <laughs> if not, the minute we touch the UK soil, decent tea bags. Definitely. And Angela and Michael also bought us coffee. Thank you so much everyone. We are yeah. totally blown away with the amount of people that have done this on this trip. It's been lovely and it's enabled us to treat us treat ourselves to things like it. we've had a meal out today I've out. had an out out of it you've been eating all the cake and ice creams and beers and everything else I've had nothing I've had to live off the roadkill do you not have steak and alpine today for your dinner uh, might have done do you take any pictures yeah oh, I did then yeah and a pint yeah that's first <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're really grateful that everybody's been so generous. It's such, it's lovely, and we don't expect it. No. Um. So thank you again, and we will probably sign out from here. Right. Um. To... We are on our, on the road again in the morning, so I'll pick you back up then. Um. But that will be the next one. We're still in Portugal. Yeah. Uh, the next stop is Portugal. Stop after that will be Spain. So yes, that's our journey back. So we want to say thanks very much for watching, everybody. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. See you later. See you later. Bye.